Welcome to this video on the machine learning workflow. We are going to take a look into the various steps involved in creating a machine learning solution. We will also look at the various roles data professionals play inside this process. Let's get started. So in just a second, we'll be able to see the basic overview of the machine learning workflow. And this workflow really will apply to both supervised and unsupervised machine learning models. Let's go ahead and dive in. The first step in our machine learning workflow is need identification. We have to have a need for developing and building a machine learning solution. The second step is data collection. We need to ensure that we have the right data selected to build our machine learning solution. The third step is data cleaning, which is also commonly referred to as data pre-processing. You cannot build a model with missing or inaccurate data. So this step is essential and is often the most time consuming in the process. The fourth step is the actual model building itself. Now that you have good data to work with, you can begin to build your model. The fifth step is model deployment. At this stage, your model will go into full production and users will be able to derive value from it. The final step is model monitoring. Models need constant evaluation to make sure that they continue to perform properly. Changes in data over time can cause changes in the model behavior, so keep an eye on your model. Great. Now that we have discussed the steps of the machine learning workflow, we can tackle the conversation of who does what along the way. At our first step, we have our stakeholders who find a need for a particular machine learning solution. Now, stakeholders often communicate with the project manager to determine if a machine learning solution is right or not. From there, a project will get kickstarted if it's worth pursuing. In our next two steps, we find the roles of a data engineer and a data scientist. These two individuals work together to collect and prepare data for the model. In most cases, the data engineer will be responsible for the actual data flow into the database, whereas the data scientist will focus on what data needs to be collected for the model to work. The stage of data cleaning may be viewed on two levels. The first involves the data engineer, who may need to clean data from the raw data source before it is stored in a database and any subsequent transformations that take place into a data warehouse are also part of the data engineer's data cleaning responsibilities. The second level involves additional pre-processing that may need to be done by the data scientist before it is used in model building. The level of cleaning depends on the company you work for. In some cases, it is completely on the data scientist to clean the data. In other cases, the data engineer has done all of the data cleaning and there is no need for the data scientist to perform such operations. At our fourth step, we see that the data scientist bears the sole responsibility of model building. The data scientist will use his or her subject matter expertise to select the right model for the job. The model selection decision, however, is often done in tandem with the data collection and data cleaning steps. The data scientist will then test, train, and validate the, the model. Once that is done, the model can be deployed. In many instances, the actual model building step is the quickest part of the data scientist's job. The model deployment and monitoring steps require the data engineer to step back into the picture. This individual is tasked with the responsibility of setting up the data flow that will feed the deployed model and grabbing and storing the results of the model for evaluation. A software engineer is also needed to build the user interface of the model so that people can actually use it. Finally, the data scientist needs to continually evaluate the accuracy of the model. Conditions change and so can your model. It is a good idea to evaluate your model performance every six months to make sure it is still meeting the needs of your company. That is it for the machine learning workflow. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos surrounding data science. We hope to see you there.